Welcome to Music Theory Logic. Andrew here, and today I'm also representing my side project, Off Days. Off Days is a um, somewhat new to the world alias, uh, but the music has been in in, uh, in under construction for many, many years. Uh, one of my closest friends and songwriting partners is a guy named Preston, and he is featured on a bunch of my dance music stuff. He is on songs I've done for music publishers that you may have heard on TV. Uh, and he and I have a bunch of different music that we've written throughout like the last decade that uh, we really enjoy, and we didn't have an alias or a way to put it out. And um, a couple years ago, we had a lot of uh, support from some of our friends inside of music that encouraged us to put it out. And so far, we've released three songs. We're going to talk about the second one today, which is Rise Again. Uh, let's go ahead into the Logic mm -hmm. session. So this might sound a little different than uh, the masters you've heard on SoundCloud or Spotify or wherever you listen to music. And that's because I did an extra mastering session, uh, but I have turned on my limiting and, and have it cranking. So without further ado, here is uh, Rise Again by Off Days.
so hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm super proud of that song, and uh, I know that it doesn't necessarily like sound like the most polished master or mix, but it is uh, the closest thing that was in our brains uh, that we could prepare for you. We recorded this all ourselves. We wrote it all. Um, we mixed it. We mastered it. Nobody else touched this at all. Um, and it took a long time uh, for some of those reasons. So uh, first thing that's kind of uh, unique or new for me about this track is like the left half that you see. Everything in blue is an audio track. So some of the drums are one hit samples. Um, we've got some like impacts and sound effects uh, going on. And then we've got the guitar recorded and the vocals recorded. And so I will, um, from a music theory standpoint show you a little bit of the beginning stuff on the guitar so it's really simple it's the fundamental chord progression is going a minor up to f major seven if i play that right to c and then a walking down bass line to b all right i'm playing it strumming pretty fast the hammer on is right there to the note e two on the d string so it's slow it's It's cool, and that is uh, again the first part there. So, uh, the harmonica is me playing on it. I did that so many years ago that every time I try to recreate it, I, uh, I don't feel like I have it like super accurately. But the cool thing about a harmonica is that anyone, literally anyone, can play one. They, most of them come in specific keys. So if you are know your song is in, say, the key of C major like this, and you get a C major harmonica, you can't really hit a wrong note. So that's literally all there is uh, to that. Um, so then uh, what happens is halfway through, so we have that same basic chord progression happening uh, for the first part of the song. And then we uh, come into this breakdown where the electric guitar happens. So we changed the chord progression slightly here. We're basically going from A minor up to C, down to F, and then an E. And we continue that progression as it goes. Um, so here's the first instruments that you're hearing that like aren't tracked. In the beginning, it was like live bass. Now we have um, this Nexus sub uh, bass playing that line again, uh, which I just told you, which is basically A, 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 C, 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 F, 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 E, E, up to F sharp, F sharp. So we are in the key of E minor. Um, I'm going to specify that a little bit more as we get further. So then the next section that we have is where you hear this synth lead that happens on top. Now, uh, we played this, I think, I, I believe I played this via MIDI keyboard. That's why everything looks like a different color. Um, I highly recommend doing that. It just adds a little human touch. If you're working with instrumentals like this that are human, like a human being played the piano or the guitar or you're not like editing a ton and things aren't perfect, then uh, doing other things that aren't perfect, in other words, uh, even like by recording yourself playing on a MIDI keyboard can help a lot. Musically, super simple. It's going uh, A, C, A, uh, D, C, A. So again, we're in the key of A minor. Then uh, we do that same A, uh, C, A up to G. So this is basically an A minor arpeggio. We're hitting D instead of the E, so that's a suspended fourth harmony. Cool, and then the second uh, phrase down here is a uh, E D E D C D. So these are still all notes from the key, um, more of a scale little sequence than an actual arpeggio. So that uh, repeats, it picks up, and then finally we have this like big uh, drop section at the end. Now this is the first time that you hear uh, what we call a dominant, uh, a fully dominant chord. So in the key of A minor, the uh, the fifth note, E, is a special note. 
if uh, that chord is major, we call that a dominant chord. The note E, I believe we'd still call the dominant in the key of A minor. But basically the chord progression that's happening here is uh, A minor, a giant one, a big, huge C major, a big, huge F major, and then uh, an E major chord. So the note G sharp right here is what's referred to as a leading tone. By changing that one note, the scale goes from what's called a, har a natural minor to a harmonic minor. Bunch of fancy stuff. You can figure out these chords just with your ear. Uh, you don't have to know all this theory stuff, but I really enjoy it. I think uh, music is magic, and I don't think theory like allows us to take the magic out of music. It just helps me to kind of like put names to things that I still consider magical. So uh, we built this whole backdrop, uh, like a drop section. I'm doing side chaining. I did my best to make this feel somewhat modern. Again, I know that we're using sounds that are from many different eras or worlds, but uh, as I drop my headphones, but we like a bunch of different types of music. And uh, so this is uh, just our creation. And we're really thankful. It seems like some people out there really enjoy it. And to all of you, we are super thankful. So uh, the final thing I'll talk about is uh, this guitar solo. So the note-wise, I'm basically in A minor pentatonic, um, so fifth position. So that is fundamentally the line. Um, I do the same riff up an octave. All right, so those are fundamentally the guitar parts, and that's super simple. The fun thing that we did on this was uh, Preston was at my amplifier. The amplifier I'm using on this song is a Bogner 2x12, uh, an alchemist, as it was called. And the amp has delay and reverb built into it, multiple types of each. And uh, I was plugged straight into the amp, no pedals at all, on the dirty channel with the gain at, like, let's say... I don't know, one one o'clock, two o'clock, so a lot of gain. And then he was doing what I would call like, uh, you know, analog automation. He had his hands on the actual amp knobs and was changing the tones, adding the reverb, the delay. You can hear it like trail out at the end. So it was a cool little custom flavor that we put on that song. But if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. Um, we're going to put out a live version or a live video of this. Off Days has its own YouTube channel. It's only got a couple videos and only a couple subscribers. Um, but uh, if you like this, you would help us out, out a lot by following us on whatever platform you use to listen to music, like Spotify or what whatnot. Um, put it in playlists. Let us know if you want to use these songs in videos. We would be happy to do that. If you want to do remixes, let us know. Um, once again, this is Rise Again from Off Days. I'm Andrew. Thank you for hanging out. If you find this stuff helpful, you'd help me out with my Music Theory Logic channel by subscribing. I cover all sorts of different content. And again, if you have questions, let me know. Have a beautiful day. Till next time. Cheers.